So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So let's see what uh, the Asian players in Europe have done during the weekend. Uh, we had some some action pretty much everywhere. Um, so uh, the goals scored are just Japanese player, but we have several Korean players that have provided assists. So this is something that I want to do all all year long, all season long. Um, I'm gonna write. I mean, obviously, uh, like as much as I can. The space is not that much, but uh, I'm gonna like put uh, here the the people that have scored goals and in the bottom uh, people that have provided assists or have like something done something uh, particular. In this case, um, we have people that have scored assists and uh, uh, people that have debuted with the, with the team and the case for Heung Min Son that have debuted as a captain for Tottenham. A huge achievement after Harry Kane departed to go to Bayern Munich in Germany. So let's start from, from here, from the goals. So uh, we have Tsuyoshi Watanabe that have scored the Hey, he has scored the 1-1 goal, the, the goal that has tied the game uh, for Ghent. Um, they have ultimately won 3-1 uh, against uh, Westerlo in the Jupiler Pro League in the Belgium uh, top tier. Uh, he actually scored this goal assisted from Hong Hyun Selk. Uh, so it was an Asian goal, completely Asian goal, assist and goal. And um, then we have Kyoko Furuhashi, he scored the 2-1 goal against Aberdeen for Celtic in their 3-1 victory uh, in the Scottish Premiership. With this victory, uh, Celtic stays at the top of the league with two victories in two games. And in this game we also had an assist by... Uh, with the, oh, Daisy Maeda, Daisy Maeda uh, made an assist for the first goal for Celtic with a header. And yes, I mean, we know Celtic is pretty full of uh, Asian players, Japanese players and uh, uh, Korean players. So we may see a lot of uh, Celtic action in these videos uh, during the season. I'm pretty sure about that. Then uh, Take Kubo, Take Kubo after having a great season last year, uh, he comes back this year and he gets it back from where he left basically. Uh, he scores the go-ahead goal uh, for Real Sociedad against Girona. Girona uh, ultimately tied the game and finished 1-1. But yeah, I mean great start for Take Kubo in this Liga. Uh, season and he will play the Champions League so I'm really curious to see Take Kubo this year um, like seems like really a mature, mature player right now he's playing great so yeah really really curious to see him playing this season uh, then we go to France uh, Junior Ito scored the go-ahead goal against uh, Marseille for Reims um, ultimately, Marcel uh, recovered the game and won 2-1 to one at home. They were playing at home uh, against Thames. Uh, Junior Ito played a great game. He scored. He then scored again, but the VAR uh, cancelled the goal. But anyways, great, uh, great game for him. And uh, in the League 1, obviously, we had the debut of Lee Kangin. Um, he didn't score any assist or any goal, but he had, I think, a pretty uh, solid game, debut game with the with the team. He played for 81 minutes. Uh, I mean, it was solid. I'm um, really curious to see him as well during the season. Um, yes, I mean, really great player. Lee Kang In, if you have followed him during the years, uh, he can be really something special, really something special. Um, then we go to Germany. Uh, no, we stay in France because, sorry, uh, uh, Takumi Inamino have scored an assist for Monaco uh, they, in the game against Clermont Foot. He has scored. He had 
not scored, but he has given the assist for the first goal of Monaco uh, against uh, Clermont. Uh, they ultimately win this game 4-2 to two in Clermont, so a great start for Monaco and a great start for Takumi Minamino. Uh, yes, now we go to Germany. Uh, so in Germany, uh, we had some uh, DFB Pokal action, the basically the league, not the League Cup, the FA Cup of Germany. Uh, we had three players, three Japanese players that have scored in these games. Um, sorry for a second. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Um, Takuma Zano have scored the uh, the goal that like basically put back Bokum in the game. Uh, they ultimately tie the game but lose in penalties against Armenia Bielefeld. Uh, Wataru Endo, he scored the fourth and last goal for Stuttgart against Palingen. And Dacia Yashi scores the 3 0 goal on the easy 9 to 1 goal win of Nuremberg against Obern, uh, Obern, sorry, Oberneuland. Uh, my pronunciation is not great, sorry about that. Um, so Endo Ahayashi go ahead in the DFB Pokal and uh, unfortunately Azano uh, doesn't uh, because it's lost against Armenian Bielefeld. Then uh, we go to Holland in the Netherlands and Koki Ogawa had his debut game after coming from the Yokohama FC uh, and he, in his debut he has the go ahead goal in the three uh, in the unfortunately for him the loss uh, for the three but this was the 3 2 ga uh, goal for Nishmengen against Excelsior in the Redivisie uh, great header during the second half and yeah, I mean, fortunately, fortunately, uh, they lose, but uh, he has a goal in his debut game. So I mean, him, Shuto Makino, in uh, with Hoster Kiel, I think they will have really a solid season. Solid season. Uh, talking about assist, we have an assist by Kaoru Mitoma in uh, the Premier League in the Brighton win against uh, Luton Town and we have the assist uh, for Yang Hyun Jun and um, yeah I mean that's pretty much it for the goals and assist um, yeah I mean pr pretty solid uh, as goal assist ratio uh, for uh, this weekend um, Mostly Japanese players have scored in uh, in uh, these games, but uh, I mean that's normal because there are more Japanese players currently in in Europe. I'm expecting a lot of goals by Hyung Min So and Lee Kang In because I mean Lee Kang In. I mean we have to see how uh, his role in the PSG in this PSG team is, uh, but I think he can score several goals. And Young Min Son, without Harry Kane, I'm expecting him uh, to step up and start to score. Unfortunately for him, uh, for Young Min Son, uh, in his debut as captain, he didn't play as well. Uh, he brought the, a penalty for Brentford, but I mean, all around, he's a top class player. And he's he's gonna he's gonna play top class football this year. I'm very sure about that. And um, last but not least, Kim Min Jae, Kim Min Jae, sorry, Kim Min Jae, uh, yes, the visit for Bayern Munich. I was surprised to not see him from the first minute uh, against uh, in this German Super Cup against uh, Leipzig. Unfortunately, Bayern has lost against Leipzig. Uh, but I mean. He's gonna be, I think he's gonna be a really top class player this year in the Bundesliga. Last year I had the opportunity to see him in Italy with Napoli. Uh, he was the best defender in the league, no doubt. And you know how important is defense here in Italy. So yeah, I was surprised not see him the first from like from the beginning against Leipzig in the Super Cup. 
but uh, it is what it is. Unfortunately, Bayern lost, but um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a great season. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I obviously covered just the like most important leagues. Um, because otherwise it starts to be impossible if I have to cover every league everywhere uh, in the world uh, but I mean I'm, I'm, I want to try to be consistent with these videos and if you liked it please put a like consider subscribing comment in the comment section down below if you want and see you next time